Right, slightly different video today. You're joining us, we're in France today. We're in our barn in France. So we've got this massive stone barn here. It needs a new roof, but that's a project for another day. Anyway, it's all a bit dark and dingy. And we're with my favorite digger. I love my digger, old girl, but she's got a few problems. We let the French neighbor borrow it and it was never the same since. Um, he's a farmer, bless him. Um, right, and what have we got here? So we have a Kabuta three-cylinder diesel engine in here, and you'll notice we've taken the head off. Now, if you're ever playing with these Kabutas, the first thing you need to get is your engine number. And you can see it's cast into the side there, the 1105. Now, this wasn't starting very well. It was smoking, we changed the injectors, but in the end we did a compression test. And the compression test showed we had low compression on this cylinder here. We've actually taken the pistons out. We could have a look at those in a minute. Um, right, so we took the head off. There is the head there. Um, and what we noticed, first of all, it's got a lot of this sort of deposit, almost rust. We tried to scrape it. Um, but what you'll notice here is we've got some pretty nasty cracks here. You'll notice one here. Yeah, there's one there. See if it'll zoom in on that. Oh yeah, they're all over the place. So we've got to get a new cylinder head. And we'll have to swap all the inlet manifolds. So Tyler's been here helping. He's doing his training module on engine strip down. But we had quite a good time, haven't we? Yeah. It's all, although it's got a lot of diesel, a lot of working underneath here. We had the sump off under there and we got the pistons out. Um, right, what else? So, yeah, so we think the primary cause for head cracking seems to be overheating, which is probably due to French farmers using diggers in the summer. Um, right, but we're all good. We're gonna put that all back together. Um, now the problem we got is we're in a bit of a pickle. A lot of car people will be in these pickles. You'll have one project go wrong and then the other project goes wrong. Cause we were using the digger to lift the engine into the tractor. So down here somewhere, we got a tractor in pieces. Now we got a pigeon tower here, look at that. Right then. I fancy myself as the next Dick Strawbridge. I'm going to be doing escape to the funny old French farmhouse. So under here we've got a digger, a digger, a tractor. There's our Massey Ferguson. Let's have a. Oh yeah, it's not. I've taken the engine out of, but I need the digger as my hoist to lift the engine back into. There we go. We're protecting it from the rain and storms. My trusty old Massey. We can have a look, Tyler. So there we go, an old tractor. Uh, but we've had the engine off it, so we've got to get the engine back on. So that's my Massey Ferguson T20. But that's for another day. Um, but there we go. So we'll be back in the workshop next week, and we'll do some more videos that my barn's falling down in all sorts of pickle. But there we go. We'll do more Ranger stuff next week. What have we got to do next week, Tyler? we got to do, we're with Gary next week. Cam belt. We'll try and do a cam belt on a 2.7 litre TD V6 Discovery 3 and we got to start looking at that G4 as well but we'll wrap everything up here we got to get on we got to get on a ferry in this in this windy stormy weather haven't we yeah right there you go I hope everyone's having a good stormy weekend all right bye